What is going on everybody? Calby here. And as you more than likely read by the title, today we'll be giving you five professional tips with the R99 to make you an R99 god. Now R99, as of recently, has kind of taken the spot as the most popular gun in the game. And if I'm being real, it's definitely taken my favorite spot too. Overall consistency and range for an SMG with this thing is crazy, and I found a few interesting tips that should hopefully improve your game. Um, if you knew the tips, once again, good for you. Be sure to leave anything I might have missed in the comment section. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Number one actually has to do with recoil with the R99 and how to control that recoil. So, when shooting the R99, what makes it so popular is that its recoil is very vertical and you don't really have to do much to control it. But it does have a slight tinge to the right if you hold it down. So, as of right here, we're going to show you that. As you can see, it didn't control it at all there. It has a slight tinge to the right, upwards like that. Very easy to control. This is even without any barrel stabilizers at all. So, right here, let's kill this guy. All you're going to want to do is hold down very slightly and to the left, and you will hit almost all of your shots. And this, mind you, is without a barrel stabilizer. So, just to show that, I'm just going to slowly hold down to the right. Right there, hit most of my shots. Let's do it again. This time I'm going to aim for headshots. Now you may have to hold a little bit stronger when going for the head because the target's smaller. Let's try this again. Mostly headshots, and once I said no barrel stabilizer. Now, we're going to find a purple one. I'm going to show you the recoil without holding it, and then with holding it again. Just to show you how big of a difference this makes. So, we're going to start here. Not as bad. Now we're going to hold down to the left. Every single shot hits. Like, this thing is a laser pointer. Headshots galore. As a side note, if you're wondering why I wasn't using the gold barrel stabilizer there, it's because the gold barrel stabilizer, even if it does give a slight edge over the purple, which I'm pretty sure they're the same, the gold barrel stabilizer is actually bugged at the moment of making this video. So as you can see here, its second perk is it minimizes muzzle flash. Apex actually just recently had a patch where muzzle flash as a whole was reduced, therefore making this give the gun more muzzle flash, as shown in this clip right here. Number two actually has to do with burst firing and controlling the recoil of the R99 at even longer ranges. So, as shown earlier, if you hold down to the left while firing, you can definitely contain the recoil of this thing much better than if you could not doing that. Well, no offense PC, but especially on console, the further you go, the worse the recoil on this thing gets and it can get to the point where it feels uncontrollable. Something you can do to combat this, however, is by burst firing. So, just to show an example, I'm going to fire an entire clip without stopping on this guy. So, right there, you hit about half your shots, you know, it does damage, not very consistent though, I wouldn't want to rely on that, not very good. So what we can do is actually burst fire the gun. So I'm still going to be holding down, controlling the recoil, but I'm going to shoot the gun in very short burst. So as you can see there, our damage is already much higher than what it was. So right here, we're going to burst fire again. And like I said, just very short in terms of fire. You're going to be doing a lot more damage like this. It's going to keep you a lot more consistent overall. So we're going to go a little bit further back just to show how drastic this can get. So once again, I'm going to fire an entire clip without stopping. Right there, like I said, you can hit some of your shots, but it's just not very consistent. Now, this time I'm going to burst fire. You are going to hit much more shots. Number three actually pertains to some of the many combos you can do with the R99 in game. If you did not know, with a stock, the R99 is the fastest swappable gun in the entire game, even faster than the P20 as shown here. So if I swap here, it's actually swapping faster than the P20. This is with a purple stock, mind you, without that stock, it's about the same without any attachments at all, but with a purple stock, you switch this thing the fastest out of any gun in the entire game. So that allows us to pull off some pretty cheeky combos with it, some of which being with thermites. As you can see here, I can hover a nade. Say somebody was about to turn a corner, I can throw this nade down, pull this thing out immediately, before the thermite can even hit the ground. If I miss any shots, the thermite finishes them off. You can push this even further with characters like Revan and Bangalore who have L1 abilities that can actually damage other players. So as you can see here, I'm hovering my L1 above them. I can also hover my grenade at the same time. This won't affect how fast I switch to it, so if I throw both these at the same time, they can't move abilities, they're burned, and the thermite will finish them off. Very, very powerful if you take enough practice. 
Number four actually deals with hit firing the R99 and why I really think it's not worth it. Now, as seen earlier, the recoil on this thing is very vertical and very easily controlled. Therefore, why would you hit fire it? From this range right here, let's say you don't have time to react and you start hit firing. Yes, the hit fire on it is still very good, but you would be much better off ADSing as you'll be hitting all of your shots instead of most of them. To say that you can't hit fire in a pinch would be a lie, but I would almost recommend aim down sights for this thing at all times. See right there, we did 178. Now we're gonna move around a little bit, hit fire our shots. Yes, we're still gonna hit the majority of them, but aim down sights is gonna guarantee that we hit all of them, as shown right here. 209. Number five, and certainly one of the more important parts of the R99, is figuring out what guns to pair with it. Now I'll say this from the start, the R99 is such a versatile weapon, I am very confident you could pair this gun with anything and it would work out just fine. But my two favorite guns to compare it with are the Sentinel and the Peacekeeper. And we'll start with the Sentinel on this one. So let's say we're in a gunfight, right? I'm trying to hit a long range sight, I hear footsteps and somebody starts shooting at me. So I'm shooting this target, you know, oh I miss, going for my next shot. Pinging for 70, somebody pulls up on me, I can immediately swap to the R99 and laser him down. So let's try that again. Say we're going for a long range shot, I hear footsteps, you know, I shoot my shot, switch, laser somebody down, and do that. Having the ability to immediately switch to a gun with this high of a burst DPS at close range can be very helpful if you're running a sniper. Now, let me throw a scenario out there for you. You're in a close range fight with your R99, somebody gets the jump in you, you kind of panic and you miss a few shots with your R99. So let's say you're, sh mm, you're sitting at about 15 shots and you hit the rest of them with somebody. One of the worst feelings in this game is when you have to reload the R99 and somebody kills you in that time. That's where the Peacekeeper comes in. So once again, let's say we're in a situation where we leave somebody very low health and we need to finish them off. So right here, we'll hit most of our shots, they're low enough. We can actually switch to the Peacekeeper and finish them off very quickly. And the good thing about having a Peacekeeper is the Peacekeeper is one of the best close range guns in the game. So let's say right here, once again we get them super low, switch over. Now we have a fully loaded close range gun that's equal if not even better than the R99 in some situations. Now you may say this is overkill, and in some cases I would agree with you, but if you do put a choke on the Peacekeeper, you can also combat yourself for not having that long range that you would have with the Sentinel. So, overall, the Peacekeeper, I would say, is more difficult to pull off, but if pulled off, I would almost say it's better than having the Sentinel. Anyways, everyone, I would say that just about wraps up the video for now. I hope you enjoyed, and most importantly, I hope you learned something new. The R99 is one of my favorite guns in the game, and I think with practice, it can even be the best gun in the game. I also want to take this time to say thank you so much for 400 subscribers. Like, it means so much to me, I can't even put it into words. YouTube's always been a dream of mine, and because of you guys, that dream seems just a little bit brighter now. Well, I'm not going to hold you here for too long. Once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all the support I've been getting recently, and stay tuned for more guides. Anyway guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. This has been Combo, and peace out everybody.